Hi everybody! Today we're going to take a look up at the sky with the new Lux Lens Sky Overlays. Particularly with landscape photography, the sky is a very big player in what we're looking at. While the sky can provide great drama and color to an image, the problem is, is that it's in constant change and you have no control over it. You can be the greatest photographer on earth, but you'll never be able to direct the sky to brighten up or to generate a passing cloud on demand. This can inhibit your ability to make the image tell the story that you want to tell. So today, we're going to have a look at an extremely effective way to take control of the sky using the Lux Lens Sky Overlays. Now what we're essentially going to be doing in this process is compositing two images. We'll remove the dull, boring sky found in the original image, and we'll replace it with an image that better tells our story. By putting the two images together and giving it the convincing appearance of a single shot, we'll have people in awe over the image that we've captured. First, let's take a look at the image we'll be working with. So here we have a pretty good example of a picture that falls just a little bit short of its full potential because it's simply not an attractive sky. It's just eating up space with all these bland colors, and we want to capitalize on that space and make it work for the larger image. So let's go ahead and open up our new sky image. To do that, we'll go to File, Place Embedded, and select from one of the following images. Now that our sky image is opened, we can transform it into whatever size we need in order to fill our space, and then we can hit Enter to apply the transformation. After that, we'll make sure to change our sky layer from Normal to Multiply, and that way we have a better idea of what's going on behind this picture but it'll also help to make the sky look more organic to the original image. Now you'll notice that the sky and the ground have different textures from one another. The reason being is the original photograph is focused differently than the photograph of the sky. What we want to do is make this image look authentic by applying a Gaussian blur to make the texture of the sky relatively flush with the background of our image. To do that, we'll select our sky layer Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Here we can adjust the amount of blur appropriate for the effect that we're going for, and then click Apply. Then we can go over to the Blur layer and place a gradient over it to make the clouds that are closer to the viewer come into focus as it gets closer to the foreground. Next, we're going to apply a layer mask over the sky. So we'll go to Layer, Layer Mask, and click Hide All. You'll see that our sky has vanished, and that's because it's hidden below an invisible black layer. Now what we can do is go to our Gradient tool and apply a gradient over the layer mask. This will make the sky fade into and out of invisibility. Okay, and that looks great. Now here's a little simple trick that you may want to apply to certain images. If you find that the sky and the foreground seem to have different color tones, create two new layers and select the eyedropper tool. Pick a color from the sky and fill one layer with that color. Then pick a color from the foreground and fill the other layer with that color. If you turn both of those layers down to say around 5%, You'll see that this gives the image a sense of unification because everything in the picture is now sharing common color tones. I'll also say that there are action sets from the Lux lens that have wonderful tone and lighting effects that are absolutely fantastic with the sky overlays, and I strongly recommend checking those out as well. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I strongly recommend checking out the Lux lens sky overlays for Adobe. Y'all have a great one now. Bye bye.